Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and uh, yeah, we're doing a product review of the all-in-one Logitech wireless keyboard. Now, what do I mean about all-in-one? Uh, it has a built-in mouse pad on it. Uh, we actually purchased this bad boy for the job because we needed to replace our old ones, and I'm going to show you what we were using, and this is why we're replacing this. Uh, model number is TK820. And the best thing about this device, uh, again, it has the built-in uh, touchpad, uh, and also the wireless frequency. The transmitter is about 2.4 gigahertz, so it's pretty strong uh, on the one that we have. I think the the one that we have already in place in one of our conference room is actually, I believe, 1.0 gigahertz, which is extremely low, especially you know if you have multiple walls or you're like in far range of the conference room. Uh, this bad boy right here will uh, capture the frequency and you won't have that, that delay. So what's in the box? Uh, the box is very self-explanatory. You don't really need to open up the box to tell you what's in the box. You get the keyboard with the mouse pad already integrated. Uh, and I'm assuming that it comes with batteries. And do not forget about transmitter because if it doesn't have the transmitter, then it's a problem. Then we can have to return it back and get a new one because without the transmitter it would not work how beautiful is that and here goes the transmitter this is what you guys will plug into your uh, computer sometimes uh, this is a plug and play when I mean plug and play all you have to do is just plug it into your USB drive and your machine your Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 or even Mac should recognize it right away but you have to make sure you turn it on Turn it on, power button right here, and you got batteries in it. So here is a in-depth look of the keyboard. As you guys can see, that is the new USB transmitter. It's so small, so pretty, but really easy to lose. So please do not lose it. <laughs> uh, as you can see on the keyboard, very standard lettering is always white for a lot of keyboards. If you get it customized, you could do that. Uh, all the functions are highlighted in, I believe, baby blue. Uh, so let's get into the trackpad. So the trackpad is really large, which is really beautiful and easy uh, compared to the one that we are using, which I'm going to show you pretty soon. Uh, side profile, I mean, is extremely skinny. I love the blue theme. If you guys have checked out my channel art on my YouTube channel, I have changed my channel art to blue because that's my favorite color. And I'm all about the blue and black and white, so it's awesome. Uh, so behind it, uh, this is the battery compartment. Don't really have like a raise uh, mechanism that you could like raise it up even more. Uh, if you look at it a little close, uh, the raise mechanism is actually this little guy right here, so it keeps it nice and elevated. But it's pretty heavy and sturdy compared to the one that I'm going to be showing you guys pretty soon. So uh, let's go check out the other one. Hey guys, and as you can see, uh, I kind of switched a little views. I have my nice little uh, eyeglass uh, webcam on. So you guys have this nice POV kind of point of view. So this is, uh, this is the Logitech all-in-one uh, keyboard that we purchased today. Uh, the transmitter, look at the transmitter, is real small compared to what we have. Uh, I know there's a big difference in size, but the problem is with this bad boy, the transmitter is huge. You would think the transmitter is extremely powerful because of the size of it, but the, the range of this is only about 1.0 or 1.2 gigahertz. Now, within the conference room that we are in, uh, with all the walls and stuff, it's it bounces off the walls and we get like horrible feedback. Now, uh, I'm gonna take this USB in and believe it or not, this Logitech keyboard came with four AA batteries. Now, the one that we're using takes four AAA batteries. So I'm kinda excited that the battery life probably is gonna last a little longer. I'm hoping it lasts a little longer. So let's plug in this USB, awesome. And I don't know if you guys heard that. Dun, 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 dun. So we're gonna go check into our smart board. And as you can see, it's installing the device drivers. Now I'm gonna use the original keyboard and I'm just gonna click on that little message so we can see what's going on. 
So right now it is ready to use the USB composite device. The receivers are still searching Windows updates, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, the best thing I like about this uh, all-in-one keyboard is that it gives me a indicator of battery life. Now this one, it's really hard to determine when the battery life is good or not. Uh, so we have to like assume that the battery life is dying on us quickly. And I, and I normally have to change the AAA batteries every month, which pretty sucks. So let's see if it works. Still installing the drive. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, this is pretty awesome. This is pretty cool. It's moving. It's a little delay, but I think it's still, it's still installing the drivers, I believe. Yep, there it goes. It's finishing it. There it goes. There you go. All right, okay, let's see if we can go to start. The start button works. It's really sensitive. Like the keyboard is really sensitive, like extremely sensitive. But I, I think, you know, I probably, we are in plans of this year, probably the second quarter of the year of upgrading our conference room machine. So this to Windows 8, so we can take advantage of the smart boards. It makes sense to have these smart boards with Windows 8, but it looks like software needs to be installed for it to work properly. So I'm definitely gonna install it. And uh, probably the software that comes with it, I could actually adjust the sensitivity on the touchpad. So I'm really satisfied with the Logitech. We only purchased one. We probably need to get maybe four more for our other conference room. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Actually, first look, product review slash whatever, whatever. Uh, leave your comments below and I catch you guys later. Peace out.